Hey, welcome everybody. Uh, this is CP Cards and Dice, and we're playing game three of a three game set in our 1979 Mets replay. It's Mets in Atlanta Fulton County Stadium. It's Pete Falcone, the Southpaw versus Phil Necro, the Knuckleballer, and we are in the top of the fourth. Now, we're doing this a little bit differently. I'm not rolling any dice in this game, and I'm pulling just fast action cards, so I'm going to kind of slide this down a little bit. I'm going to slide all this down so you can see the fast ashen cards getting pulled. And I'm going to be putting them right here. Plays pretty quickly and very easily. Um, it's top of the fourth inning. It's Frankie Taveras for the Mets, the shortstop, followed by Alex Trevino, the catcher, and Lee Mazzilli in center field. Then it's John Stearns at the cleanup spot playing third base. Joel Youngblood in left field batting fifth. Batting sixth is Jose Cardinal at first base. Dan Norman in right field. Batting seventh. Batting eighth is Doug Flynn, the second baseman. And the pitcher is batting ninth. All right, so the first card I pull is going to be a seven. That's going to be on Necro Tough. And the next card's a tough 18. That's going to be a strikeout. Four, that's uh, in play. In play 92. So grounded is short. Pepe Free is up with it, fires the first, and gets Trevino. Eight is in play, zero one against Lee Mazzilli, so it's in play zero one. That's going to be a ball that's lying to the corner. And Gary Matthews after it, and Mazzilli's in with a two out double. It's the first hit of the Mets today. So the Mets have a runner in scoring position, John Stearns. Nine, that's patient. Zero seven, patient zero seven is a base on balls. So Stearns waits out Necro, and it's Joe Youngblood. Now we can check here using I score. I don't. I know you can't really see it. I could move all this down just a little bit so you can see it. Let me show you I score. There you go. That's what I score looks like when you play with I score. And then we're just going to move this over here. There you go. All right. Um, so Joel Youngblood, let's find out how he's doing this season. I'm going to just tap on his name and it gives us the stats for the season. It tells me that he's batting 239. In reality, he batted uh, about 274. Batting 239 in our replay, he's got uh, nine home runs and 43 RBIs. In reality, he had 16 home runs, and this doesn't tell us the RBIs. So it's Joe Youngblood at the plate. He's a right-handed batter with two outs. Runs on first and second. The score is 0-0 here in the top of the fourth, and we're pulling the fast ashing cards. That's a seven. That tells me that's a tough on Negro. A tough 20, a tough 20 is going to be a strikeout. Knuckleballer gets him, and that retires the side. Jerry Royster's leading off the top of the fourth. Six is tough, 12, a tough 12 against a lefty is a strikeout. Curveball gets him. Gary Matthews is up next. He's 0 for 1 on the day. That's a six, another tough. A tough 47 against a lefty, and that's going to be outrange. That's a ground ball, third base. John Stearns throws him out. And with two out, it's Jeff Burrows. Three, that's in play, and in play 50. And that's an out range. That's a grounder again to Stearns. Fires the first and throws out Burrows. Three up, three down for Pete Falcone, left hander. Necro was a 21 and 20 with a 339 ERA. Jose Cardinal, seven, that's tough, a tough 20, and that's a strikeout. Cardinal down on strikes. Dan Norman, 10, that's wheelhouse, uh-oh, 40, wheelhouse, nope, nowhere near it. Had he been a lefty, we would have had a home run there. 40 is going to be an out against right-handed right -handed pitchers, that's going to be popped up to the left side, and needs, that's Pepe Frias, waits for it. Makes the catch. Two away. Doug Flynn now. Doug Flynn's 0 for 1 today. That's tough. A tough 45. 
That's right side, right outside of hit range. It's going to be grounded to third. Bob Horner fires the first and throws out Flynn. Three up, three down. We go to the top of the sixth inning. It's nine. Patient, patient. Thirteen. That's a base on ball. So Bob Horner walks. Pete Falcone is pitching very carefully to the rookie. Four wheelhouse. For Dale Mur Murphy, 1 to 42 is out of here. That's an 80. An 80 is going to be a fly ball, deep fly ball to Mazzilli in center. Mazzilli back to the track, makes the catch. One away. Seven. That's tough. A tough 74. It's going to be a fly ball again, shallow center this time. Mazzilli puts it away. Two out, and it's Pepper Frias. Eight patient. Patient 0-2, and that's a base on balls. Two walks in this inning by Pete Falcone, and up is Bruce Benedict. Benedict batted 193 against lefties. That's a five, ballpark. 91, that's outside a wheelhouse, so we're looking at in play. In play number is 39 against a lefty. That's going to be an out. Grounder to first, Jose Cardinal at first. Flips to Falcone, covering, and that retires the side. So despite giving up two walks, P. Falcone manages to get out of that inning. We go to the top of the sixth now. That was the bottom of the fifth. We go to the top of the sixth. And it's going to be uh, P. Falcone leading it off. He's a pitcher hitting card five. Eleven, that's ballpark. Thirty-four, that's wheelhouse. Wheelhouse, sixty-one, that's out of range. That's a grounder to second. Royster throws out Falcone. Negro, 9, that's a patient, 73, uh, wait a second, that was a patient in 94, patient 94, and that's a fly ball lifted to shallow left, right there is Burroughs, makes the catch, 2 away, Alex Trevino who's over 2, grounded out twice, 5, it's patient 66, a patient 66, and that's going to be a grounded a second, Royster, Flips to Murphy, and that retires the side. Three up, three down. Got a game goes fast when there's not a lot of hitting, not a lot, not a lot of walks. It's 0-0 uh, zero, zero here in the bottom of the sixth. Using the fast action cards, that's a five. That's ballpark. Ballpark 67 for Necro, who is a right-handed batter. That's going to be in the wheelhouse for Necro. Wheelhouse against the left. Oh, there's no righty-lefty splits here. It's just one straight deal. He's a nine. That's an 83. That's an out. And 83 is going to be a grounded a short. Frankie Tavares throws him out. One away. Six. Tough. Tough 67 against the lefty. And that's a ground ball, second base. 4 3. It's a 5, ballpark, four, uh, ballpark 84, that's going to be, for a right-handed batter, that's going to be wheelhouse, and we're looking right now at, against a lefty, 1-21, to 21, 77, and that's a deep drive to center field again, Mazzilli back, and makes the catch, and that retires the side. Getting exciting here. And we're going to the top of the seven, so we're going to shuffle up. We're going to shuffle them up. My crew, you're going to uh, witness my croupier skills. My croupier skills, amazing. I'm in, I've impressed people all the time with the, with this ability to uh, all right. Let's get this up. These, this other pack in here. And do that. I'm gonna turn him over, and we're ready to roll. On, let's check Phil Necro's card. It's a six. Tough out. Tough out. 86. Tough out. 86, and that's a grounder to short. Oh. Mazzilli out. John Stearns is next. One out in this inning. Seven. Tough. Tough. 61. That's a pop up. 
to the right side. Dale Murphy is there, waits for, makes the catch, two away. And it's Joel Youngblood, three, ballpark, 77. That's going to be wheelhouse, 36, against a righty. That's going to be line base hit, second hit of the game. Youngblood, potential steal here, 10, does not go. Jose Cardinal, that's a 7, tough. 84, and that's going to be an easy out to the shortstop, who flips to Royster, Pefrias to Royster, and that ends the inning. No score here, we go to the bottom of the 7th. Pete Falcone versus Phil Negro. Jeff Burrows the batter, that's a 10, in play. In play 45, it's going to be an out, it's going to be grounded a third, Stearns guns it and throws out Burrows. Six, tough, Bob Horner, 606, and that's the toughest strikeout. Horner down swing, curveball, got him, two outs. Seven, tough, to Dale Murphy, 92, a tough 92 against a lefty. And that's going to be lined and caught by the shortstop. And that retires the side. At the top of the eighth, Mets are going to bring up Norman Flynn and Falcone. Nine, that's patient. Patient 56. There's a righty. 56, nope. Fly ball, right field. Doug Flynn now, he's over two. That's a two, that's defense, a defensive check, 63. Defensive check, 63. It goes up to, actually, it could be an error. We're going to see who that's on. Range in left field. That's going to be error in left field. Oh, no, it's, the, it's a range check. I'm sorry, it's a range check. And we rolled a 63, and that may be... So let's see who the left fielder is. Burroughs. Burroughs is known for not really having a lot of range. He's an F, so that's going to be a hit of some kind. Let's find out what kind of hit. That puts him 1 to 68. We rolled a, like I said earlier, we rolled a 63. And now, what kind of hit? It's a single. So that falls in there. Burroughs did not get a good jump on it. Run around first now. Flynn's not a threat to steal. And Pete Falcone, we're going to ask Pete with one out, we're going to ask Pete Falcone to bunt. Pete Falcone is an, uh, he's a B bunter. Pretty good bunter. And that's a sacrifice hit. Catcher to the second baseman covering. And moving over to second is Flynn, so it's 2-4. And now we have Frankie Taveras. Seven, tough, tough 18, that's a strikeout, Tavares, down swinging, that retires the side, we go to the bottom of the eighth, no score, we got a heck of a pitcher's duel going here, Pete Falcone, oh, used to grabbing those dice, seven, tough, a tough 08, that's going to be a strikeout, Bonnell, Barry Bonnell, down swinging, Pepper Free is next, five is ballpark, 03's potential 1 to 5 is a home run and that's a deep drive to left field back goes Youngblood to the track to the wall it's out of here 1 nothing Braves Pepe Frias gets a 0 1 on that wheelhouse roll that blew our minds there and it's a 1 nothing ball game right now the last guy you'd expect to hit a home run he had Actually, he had one home run all season, and it was against a left-hander. And he connects here versus Pete Falcone versus left-handed pitcher, 1-5. to five. And the Mets are down, one nothing. Bruce Benedict now. 5, ballpark again, 29. That's going to be in range for a home run, but no, he has no home runs, hit none. 93, it's a fly ball, shallow left, right there is Youngblood, two outs. And now it's going to be Negro, who's a 9. 8 is Patient. Patient 68. Patient 68. 
It's going to be an out. It's going to be a line drive caught by the second baseman, Flynn. And that retires the side. Wow, so the Braves, last licks for the Mets, the Braves pick up a run on a very unlikely source, from a very unlikely source, Pepe Frias, the shortstop. And uh, they lead it one to nothing. We're at the top of the ninth. It's going to be the uh, Alex Trevino leading it off. Lee Mazzilli and John Stearns against Phil Negro. As you can see, it goes by really fast. This must have been a 20-minute game. Um, eight in play. In play, 89. And that's going to be a ground that is short. Pepe Frias. I still can't believe it. Still is in shock. Six tough out. On Mazzilli's card, a tough out is an 83, and that's popped up. Batting lefty to the second baseman right there is Royster, two away. Mets are one out away from losing again, uh, losing the series, two games to one. Seven, that's tough. A tough 52, and that's the ball game. That's a ground ball to third. Bob Horner fires to first, 5-3, and the Mets lose another one. Let's lose another one. Phil Negro, my goodness. Where did he come from? Phil Negro shuts out the Mets with a three-hitter. And uh, let's write him in there. Phil Negro gets the win. The loss is going to go, unfortunately, the loss goes to Pete Falcone, who pitched a heck of a ball game. And the uh, line score is Mets no runs, three hits, no errors, and four left on base. The Braves one run, two hits, no errors, and two left on base. And that's all she wrote, and I showed you how to use the fast action cards. I use one fast action card for the for the pitcher. I pull another one just so I don't, you know, line up all the numbers. And that's how I do it. So it's similar to how you would do it in Status Pro or in uh, History Maker Baseball. I just ordered my fast action cards for replay baseball at all, as well. Because, I mean, this speeds it up, and there's a lot less rolling around and stuff. And I just didn't want to hear the noise, even though I have a stealth tower. I didn't even want to hear the, the, the dice banging against each other. It just was not in the mood. I just wanted, to, wanted it all to be nice and quiet. So anyway, that's the ball game. And I'm not sure who, who the next series we're going to play with uh, payoff pitches. But uh, that's all she wrote, guys. Thanks for stopping by checking us out. Bye now.